In this tutorial, we will learn the basics of reading Library of Congress call numbers, or LC numbers. Let's begin! Here is a basic schema for LC numbers. Letter, followed by potentially another letter, and a number. Decimal point letter number, followed by potentially another decimal point letter number, followed by the date of publication. On the schema, anything enclosed in parentheses, which I described as potentially, is optional. Up to the first two characters are always letters which describe the general subject of the book. For example, M is for music scores. Don't worry too much about what the letters actually mean. That is for a much longer and in-depth discussion of the worldview of the Library of Congress founders. The next part of the LC number is a number which further refines the definition of the subject of the book. For example, M1503 is for vocal scores of operas. These first two sections define the general subject matter of the book, while the next section, called the cutter number, tells us about the author and the specific subject of the book. The letter directly after the decimal point corresponds either to the first letter of the author's last name or to a letter associated with the subject and the number adds further specificity. The optional next set of letter and numbers further refines the author of the book. Most important and last is the year of publication. There you have it, the basic anatomy of the LC call number. We have learned the schematics of the LC call number and a little bit about what each part of the LC call number tells us about the resource. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian.